Bob looks good with a beard. We should, yeah, we we should get Bob with a beard. Hey, tell us the games, folks. Good to see you. Woo! It's 10, 16 p.m. Applause, everyone! We have raised $6,309.69. Thank you so much. We're going to play uh, Bob Hayes House of Games, sponsored by an amazing friend of ours, Kathy Krebs. Thank you, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Hey. Uh, I think you're still doing reality, I believe. So, um, what? I think so. I think so, too, yeah. I don't have any copies. So, Kathy, if you want to send me a Facebook message, and I can read it, I can read it <laughs> later on in the air. So... We can go from there. Okay, we're gonna play a game of games, the house of games. Uh, a bunch of little games, kind of like smash into 10 rounds of fun. You can play along at home. Well, these four players are actually gonna vie for some real prizes that I paid my hard earned money, but I had no faces on them because things happen. That's okay. So let's be our players. We have Chris. Hello. Curtis. Hello. Josh. Hi. And Zach. Hey. Um, <laughs> Y'all, y'all doing well, I hope. So, in House of Games, uh, we're, we're gonna play a bunch of little games. Some are solo games, some are team games, uh, puzzles, trivia questions, you name it. We have ten rounds on here. We'll go as fast as we can. If you're looking at uh, center stage, we have the Bob Higgs House of Games prizes. I don't know if we can see. Uh, ooh. I don't know if we can see it on stream, maybe. Uh, if we. Turn a camera. If not, that's okay. The, 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 is it the prizes? Do we have prizes yeah. here? No, it's not in there. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. Yeah. Oh, I So Chris. up for grabs, <laughs> up for grabs today, we have the House of Games Cowbell, okay. the House of Games Notebook, the House of Games Wallet, oh, it's mine. House of Games Standing Wooden Tray, <laughs> and the House of Games Stadium Seat. Now the joke was to put my face on every single item, and of course you can sit on Bob's face on the stadium seat, but yeah. that, that joke is cool. Donation so, received. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever wins the game, they get to pick two prizes first, and then we go to the next highest score, the next highest score, the next highest score. So everyone will, will walk away with a prize. Oh, cool. The question is, do you get the prize you want? So, Ooh. are you ready to play House of Games? <laughs> ready. Yeah. Let's start off with round one. It's called Rhyme Time, and there's music. Turn, turn, turn the volume up on the TV. Yeah. yeah. It probably, it probably can, oh. Oh, uh, okay, it just doesn't work apparently. Oh, hold on. Uh, it's, make sure you're sending uh, audio to the Elgato. Oh, to the Elgato. Yeah. Uh, so let me just go, uh, uh, HD60, yeah? Yep. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So the way this works is uh, for rhyme time, we're going to show you two questions, and the answers rhyme with each other. So once you see both questions come up, buzz in and give me an answer. We'll give you a point if you get it right, no points if you get it wrong. Sounds good? You'll see how it goes. Let's show the first one here. A model propulsion object made from an empty soda vessel and a Mattel doll meant to fit in a makeup compact. Chris. Uh, bottle Rocket Polly Pocket. Yeah, yeah Bottle nice. Rocket Polly Pocket. Nice job. You get a nice. point. Thank well you. Well done. Oh, uh, there we go. Next one. Actress who starred in The Flying Nun, Steel Magnolias, and Mrs. Doubtfire. And what is this? Josh. Is that Sally Field Windshield? It is <laughs> Sally Field Windshield. Well nice. done. That's just a point. Very good. I'm so glad I got the American term for that one. We didn't have to go to like Britain land for. I would have called it Chazwas as I would. <laughs> Great. Here comes the next one. British game show whose original host was Ann Robinson, and Element whose atomic number is thirty. Chris. Weakest link, zinc. Yeah. Oh. Zinc. Well done. Oh, nice job, Chris. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Next one. Type of cookware coating which limits ability of foods to adhere when prepping, preparing meals, and eye surgery which uses pulses of light to correct vision. Zach. Uh, Non-stick and LASIK? Yeah, non-stick yeah. and LASIK, well done. Nothing's getting on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Oh, uh, let's see, uh, oh, that's the point of Zach. There it goes. Thank Yay. you. 
French city where film festival occurs annually in May, and a type of vehicle stereotypically driven by mothers. Cribs. Can minivan? Yeah, I give it to you. Cans minivan. Yep, there you go. Well done. I'll give it to you. That was exactly what, exactly what you said. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're so generous, Bob, for giving me the exact correct answer. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. It's good enough for me. All right, here we go. Uh, what's this? Oh. And... Actor who played James Bond for the first time in Live and Let Die, Chris. Revolving Door, Roger Moore. Yeah, oh, there it is. Oh, nice. And next question. Instruction that goes along with do not collect $200 on the go to jail card in Monopoly. And tuber vegetable that is sometimes confused for a yam. Zach. Do not pass go and sweet potato. Yeah, do not pass go and sweet potato. <laughs> well done. Uh, oh, I, I, I didn't give you points. Last question of the round. The part of speech which includes words like and, but, or, or, and a road intersection where frequently one of the roads ends. Josh. Is that a conjunction junction? Yeah, it's a ah. conjunction junction. Well done. <laughs> and Josh gets two points. Let's show the scoreboard after round one. And we see that Curtis is in the lead with four. Josh has two. Zach has two. Curtis is happy to be here. Hi, Curtis. Hi. <laughs> At the end of round one, let's go over to round two. Wait, I know this one. <laughs> oh, whoops. Let's go back to round two. I am so mad there's no music. Sorry, I get really... Okay, that's fine. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you. Round two, highbrow, lowbrow. The players are given two questions with the same answer, one of which is significantly harder than the other. They're shown the hard question first, followed by the easier question. If they get the correct answer, having seen only the hard question, they are awarded two points. But if they change the answer after seeing the easier question, they will only be awarded one point. Mm -hmm. Okay? I like it. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I think we go down the line here. So let's start with uh, Cribs. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. All right. I don't think this is, the, I think this is a buzzing one, so let's just do it. Cool. What atoll of the Marshall Islands is also known as a Eschultz? What's your guess? The Bikini Atoll. All right, so your first answer is Bikini, okay. Yes. Let's look at your next one. Uh, what word precedes bottom in the setting of SpongeBob SquarePants? Yes, Bikini. Is it Bikini? <laughs> it is nice. Bikini. Two points for Chris, well done. Curtis, we come to you. Yep. Which instrument is played by Grammy-winning artist Bea Fleck? A Bella Fleck. Is there a penalty if I just guess or no? No, no. It's just, okay. If your answer changes after the second okay. question, you get a point if it's correct instead of two points. You lose all your points. Yeah, apparently, I, all zero of them. Okay, <laughs> yes, sir. Um, piano. I don't know. Right, yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the next question here. In the Nintendo 64 titles by Rare, what mm. is the name of the bear that carries around Kazooie? Banjo. All right. So for one point, is it Banjo? It is Banjo. Yeah. One point for Curtis. Well done. All right, we come to Josh. What word uh, comes before familia to complete the name of a basilica that began construction in 1882 and will complete it in 2026? Oh. Amelia. Amelia. Let's look at that. Amelia for Let's Amelia. Look at question. <laughs> Let's look at question number two. What 2017 board game where you build stained glass windows using dice shares its name Ooh. with the Spanish word for sacred? Ooh. I've, I've seen the game, but I could not tell you what it is called. Oh, it's a great game. It is a good game. All right. well, well, so, no answer? Um, Amelia. All right. <laughs> Let's see it. Is it. We're going to stick with Amelia for two points. I, I mean, it's got to, we, we got to try for two. Uh, is it Amelia? Sobrata. No, it's yeah. Sobrata. Oh, okay. It's a great game, by the way. Yeah, wonderful. Hey, Jack, Zach, we come to you. Okay, hey, Josh gets no points. Uh, what weather phenomenon uh, can be defined as an atmospheric disturbance accompanied by winds and precipitation? I mean, that feels like it could be a lot of things. Uh, how about a hurricane? Okay. Let's see your lowbrow question. 
In the X-Men films made by Fox, uh, what character did Halle Berry portray? I'm going to change it to Storm. <laughs> is it Storm for a point? Yeah. Nope. It is Storm for yeah, a point. Right. Well done. <laughs> all right. So now what I'm going to do is, um, since I have an odd number of questions, I'll have these three be in the buzzer, okay? <gasps> Just take the time. We're good. And if you get control, uh, you'll stay in control with the question, okay? Here it goes. In the George Orwell novel Animal Farm, what pig became sole leader after having dogs chase his rival away? Josh. I'm going for Napoleon. All right, so you'll stay in control. Here is the next question. What dynamite character was portrayed by John Heater in 2004? I'm going to stick with Nap the Napoleon, yeah. All right, is it Napoleon? It is hey. Napoleon. Hey. Two points for Josh. Well Love done. Love it. Okay, next question on the buzzers. Here we go. Pollux and Castor are the two brightest stars of which constellation? Curtis. I say Orion. All right, just stay in control here. The next question. What is the name of the chatbot made by Google to compete with ChatGPT? Change to Gemini. Hey, thank you for the donation. $10, well done. And you are right with Gemini. One point coming your way. Last question of the round, here we go. Uh, what Chinese dynasty was founded by Gaozu in 618 and survived until 907 when rebellions formed their own independent kingdoms? You would have butchered that name. Zach. Uh, I mean, I'll take the point for the next question. Uh, <laughs> Tang? Okay. Well, let's see the next question. Hell yeah. What drink mix brand Hell yeah. was a commercial flop until NASA provided it to astronauts in multiple missions? <laughs> Uh, Tang. It's still Tang. Is it still Tang? It's the Kool-Aid dynasty. It's Tang. <laughs> it's always funny when that host. All right. Uh, next, and I'll show, the, I'll show the scores in a little bit. So let's go to the uh, queue up the next round, distinctly average. And let's see what the scoreboard is. Thank you for, thank you for that. Uh, Crips has six. Zach has five. Josh has four. Curtis, you have two. But Curtis, since you're in last place, you get to pick your partner for distinctly average. Let me explain how this is going to work. The players are in pairs for this round. The pairs are given a question which has a numerical answer. Without discussing, each player must give their answer, and you'll submit that on your devices. Mm -hmm. The average between each pair is used, and the closest pair will get a point each. So, Curtis, if you are in last place, I'll just show the uh, scoreboard here again. I'll stick with Cribs since this is just two sides of the I table. Will be good. Uh, Chris and Curtis are a team. Josh and Zach, you are a team. Remember, keep your scores, uh, mm -hmm. keep your guesses private. Here goes the first question. According to the Kittleson Roundabout Database, <laughs> oh, how many roundabouts <laughs> are in the United States as of May 2024? So submit your answers on. Oh, I have a story. I have a story for this question yeah. after. This I is mean, a good we question. We hit at least a thousand of them picking up the dinner just now. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, answers are in. Um, we'll start with the teams of Cribs and Curtis. So Cribs, what did you say on yours? I think I said five thousand six forty. <laughs> you did say five thousand six hundred and forty. Yep. And Curtis, I went two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. So that means that your average. Uh, can I post it on here? Can I show that? Hold on, let me show you. I, I, I should have used this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't show the sausage is made, Bob. That's fine. So your average is 3,820. I'm going to put that down here. Okay, cool. Uh, Josh, what did you say? Mm. Uh, I went over those two guesses, and I said 80,000. You said 80,000. <laughs> I just can't display them on the screen, that's all. And then, Zach, what did you say? I also went higher, but not that high. I said, uh, I said 10,000. 10,000. Oh, why is my... 45,000? Yeah. No, I still think yeah. that's pretty 000. good. 45,000, yeah. I mean, they got like 10 of them in the city where I live, so yeah, multiply that's like, uh, that by 45, however many cities. Yeah, there. that many cities. Oh, hold on. Uh, cancel. Sorry, my yeah, computer just decided to freeze here. How many cities I think have some ever? states have zero. All right, well, your average is 45,000. I can just do that in my okay. head right now. So Josh and Zach, you say 45,000. That's your average answer. Uh, Cribs and Curtis, your average is 3820. The correct answer is... 
10,207, which means Cribs and Curtis, you both get a point. Yeah. You're nice. closer. You guess and Zach, you were closer with your 10,000. Well done. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go on to the next question here. Uh, and you should be able to uh, answer new ones. Rounded to the nearest thousand, how many Tesla Model Ys were sold worldwide in 2023, according to Jado? How many dipshits are there in this? Hey! Hey! Don't say that too loud. Oh, the, that's, the that's mic's, my oh, the mic's on? Wait, yeah. is this live? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I think we're waiting for Zach. I yep, think everyone, everyone's in. Okay. Uh, we'll start with uh, Josh and Zach. Uh, Josh, what did you put? Uh, I said 8,000. You said 8,000? Because it would have been a better guess last time. <laughs> <laughs> and Zach? I said 25,000. Okay, so your average is 17,000. Yeah. Okay, not bad. And let's go to Cribs and Curtis. Cribs, what did you say? I said uh, 110,237. <laughs> <laughs> nice number. Thank you. And Curtis. 20K. 20K. So your average is 65,118 and half a Tesla. <laughs> and half a Tesla. Yeah. That one got set on fire. <laughs> so, so that's a convertible. That, one, that, yeah. one's a, that one's a Model 3. Yeah. That's Model 3. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Josh and Zach, your average is 17,000. Cribs and Curtis, your average is 65,118.5. The correct answer is... Oh! 230,000. Happy with that. Cribs and Curtis, you get good. the points. Absolutely. Yeah. Are we just, we're just trusting Jado now? We're yeah. just trusting Jado. Okay. We are. Yep, 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 we are. Okay. All right, last one. Here we go. According to the IOC, how many gold medals has America won at the Summer Olympics from 1908 to the from present? 1908. That's how many Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> no event, just straight gold medals. Just, just straight gold medals, okay. yeah. Just like gold Cribs medals. and straight, Zach are in. Straight uh, cash, are Josh, we? you're in. Uh, give me a second. Uh, Curtis will be. Uh, Carry the two. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Doing the math. Yeah. Okay. He's drawing a picture of a roundabout. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> in in oh, ASCII. No. Yeah. ASCII. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, Cribs, what did you guess? Uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, 436. Yeah, 436. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can just say, and Curtis, you guessed 3,500. 3,500. <laughs> so your answer is 1968. Hmm. Was that an Olympic year or no? Uh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Cool. You planned that? That's pretty good. No. <laughs> uh, Josh, you said... I just dropped another zero, 800. 800. And then, Zach, you said... 999. 999, which means your answer is 899.5. So, so Chris, the other half a gold medal is sitting in the table. <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Curtis have an uh, average of 1968. Josh and Zach have an average of 899.5. The correct answer is 959. So Josh and Zach, you get the point. Very well good. Very done. Good. Very good. Thank you. At the end of that round, we have Cribs at eight, Zach at six, Josh at five, Curtis at four. All right. Yeah. All right. This next game is called. It's all in the name. Yay. The players are given questions to which the answer can be made using the letters from the full name of one player. Now, normally, if the player is playing and they get their own name, they get two points. So if one of those names are up there, like one of your names, okay. it's up there, and you get it right, you get two points. It's not just one point for a correct answer. So the correct answer is made from letters by the name you'll see given on okay. the screen. You'll see it in a little bit. Okay. Let's begin the first category. Rich Liebig. Yay. All the answers, so all the answers will come from the letters of Rich Liebig's name. Here we go. The Miyazaki Studio responsible for Kiki's delivery service and Spirit Tear Away. Zach. Uh, Ghibli. Yes, it is. Well done. Point to you. It's him. Hey, hey, hey. You. You're on the TV. Oh, he came into no reaction whatsoever. <laughs> 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 
Let's go to the next question here. A country which is spelled the same as a BVE word that is an affectionate way of addressing someone. What? I'm gonna, oh, Josh. Only because I can make it with the letters chili. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's chili. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next name. Corey Anatado. Oh, okay. Cody Anatado. The kind of person is uh, one who contributes to a charitable cause, like us. So please give us money at gameshowmarathon.com. Josh. Uh, it's clearly Corey Anatado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Wrong. Say <laughs> the answer, right? Yeah. That's wrong. Oh. <laughs> Anybody else want to buzz in? Yeah. Curtis. Uh, donator. Uh, yeah, we accept that. Donator or donor. Yep, that's both answers are acceptable. Yeah. yeah. I remember that one. That was, that was a, uh, had two possible answers. Curtis, mm -hmm. it's a point. Well done. Next one. Fast and powerful windstorm, usually including a funnel shaped cloud. Cribs. Tornado. It is a tornado. Ooh, nice. Well done. Yeah. All right, now let's move on to the next name. <gasps> oh! oh. Chris, if you get these right, you get two points. Hot Everyone else, damn. Well, hardly you shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> get ready. Fingers on buzzers. The character that tells the main story of a book or other media. Oh, damn it, Cribs. Uh, oh my God! Wait a second. It's the uh, it's the uh, it's the narrator. Oh, oh, you got in just in time. Ooh. It is narrator. Two points. And next one. A person who keeps records of the past to archive and study them. Cribs. Historian. It is historian. <gasps> You've done anagrams with your own name, haven't you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Friday night, nothing to do. <laughs> I think I'm going to anagram my own name. Yeah. What can you make with the remaining letters? Uh... And lastly, you have me. Hey! hey. My House of Games. That's wow. right. Oh, the Blowing Stone is said to give one... That kisses it, the gift of the what, Zach? Uh, Gab. Yeah. yeah. Gab. Not a lot of letters. <laughs> oh, this is an easy name. Yeah, I was Next on question. countdown earlier, man. I, I can't <laughs> Another it. name for the Atabiaka pearls that can be found in bubble tea, Josh. Boba. It is Boba. Yeah. Well done, you got a point. And at the end of that round, uh, we have, let me just go here, show the scoreboard. Chris is 13, <laughs> Zach is eight, Josh is seven, Curtis has five. Yeah. You did it so far? Yeah. This is round five with the halfway point. We might speed some stuff up, so let's see how it works. Let's go to the next game. It's called the backwards round. Oh, no. The players are given questions in reverse order. The players must also answer the, these questions in reverse. For example, the question series which, yeah, series which with uh, confused often is War Star would have the answer Trek Star. So I'm going to read the question backwards. You must give the answer. Backwards. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I should probably look at the screen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. This Adding, is gonna break yeah. my brain, isn't here, it? Here comes the first question. What multi? Oh. Oh, here it is. Oh, I should probably read it up there. Mewtwo and Pikachu, like creatures, features, and 2021 in released game arena battle online multiplayer. What? I buzz. Oh, hi, hi, Cribs. Uh. Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. Uh, Curtis. Unite Pokemon. It is Unite um, Pokemon, which becomes Pokemon Unite. Yep. Nerd. There it is. Uh, <laughs> I'll take the video. I got, my, I got my Pokemon Unite question in, folks, so enjoy. Yep, Thank yep. you. Yeah. Uh, it sucks I have to look at the screen with this. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Orange international color, the with painted estates united the instruction. What? Josh. Bridge gate golden. Yep. Bridge. Uh -huh. Yep. Bridge, <laughs> golden. Golden. Well done. The Golden Gate Bridge. Josh gets a point. Next question. Country which of capitals three the are uh, below me 14 and Pretoria Town Cape? I don't know why the extra comma in there. <laughs> Uh, Africa South? Yeah, it's Africa South. Yeah, it's South Africa. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> get them out. Oh, yeah. Get them out. Right here. I caught her again. Woo, woo, Next woo. one. 
Initialism, initialism, eh, initialism, three letter work by known as development human for information genetic carries that molecule the cribs. Uh, P G H. No. Oh. Curtis. A N D. It is A N D <laughs> for DNA. I was thinking Human Genome Project. I think mm -hmm. I just read it wrong. That's okay. No, it happens in this game. Uh, Curtis gets a point. Well done. Next one. Frumpkin and drummer Genesis, what by performed and written was World's two songs, Tarzan and the Cribs. Collins Phil? It is Collins yeah, well Phil. Done. Well Thank done. You. Phil Collins. Yeah. All right. Uh, Martha <laughs> Dolores, with along association workers, Farm National, the founded who? Zach. Uh, workers Farm United? That is incorrect. Ah. Oh. I, I don't I, I, I don't know. I have it now. Oh, right, yeah. What was it? Oh, I mean. Oh. Uh, Josh, you want to buzz in again? What was it? What was it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a point. <laughs> All right. okay. I want to tell you out, Josh. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, it was uh, Chavez Caesar. Chavez Caesar, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. Next one. Uh, click the next slide. Shotguns using targets clay break athletes has Olympics the in sport what? Josh. Shooting skeet. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> and last question this round. That's on the internet. Forever. Yeah, it is. Uh, hopping Dimension and oh, Trauma no. Family about film Daniels oh, 2022. God. What lead cast Asian All Star and Zach? Once at all, everywhere, everything. Yeah, yeah, well done. Let's go. We got our own race. <laughs> <laughs> I was, beat the charges. <laughs> right, at the end of that round, we have Cribs at 14, oh, Zach at 10, Josh at 9, Curtis at 7. I'm going to speed up a little bit here, so just uh, stand by because I'm going to get through. Oh, don't look at these. Oh, oh, I oh, didn't oh, see oh, a thing. Oh, 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 we're gonna do two more rounds here just to get just to get through it. Um, <laughs> the players are given three blanked out words which are related in some way. The words will begin uh, will begin to fill in uh, from Z down to A, and players must guess the category that links the words. So you'll see three words with blank spaces. We'll count up from Z to A. They'll fill in. Once you know the connection of the three words, okay. you buzz in and give me the connection. So we, we want the connection, not the words. Correct. Okay. The connection. Yep. <coughs> here comes the first one. Chris, are they all um, civic leaders? They are not. We'll continue. Oh. Josh, are these Denzel Washington films? Mm -hmm. oh. They are yeah. Denzel yeah. Washington nice. movies. Yes, yeah. nice. well done. Nice. I got a nice. second after you. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Here we go. Zach, are these all British prime ministers? Let's see. Yay, Yay British prime ministers. Well done. Zach gets a point. Next one. Uh, Josh. These airlines. They are yeah. airlines. Well done. Damn it. Next one. Oh, an apostrophe. Oh. Josh. Queen songs. Yes. Mm. Sing wow. Like Queen. Well done. Yeah. Wow. And last one of the round. Here we go. Actually, no, we have a few more. Sorry. Okay. I'm having a good time. I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. Cribs. Uh, animated comedy series. A little bit more specific, please. Animated 
Emmy-winning animated comedy series on cable, animated comedy series on Fox. I'm gonna, I'm gonna family you, comedy. I'm gonna shut you off on that. Oh my god. Uh, Zach, adult-oriented. These are adult-oriented yeah. ones. Mm. Yeah. I did not write these. <laughs> it's his house of games. My house of games. Yeah. Wait, did you not? Did they include? That's cool. Wait, what? Okay. House of games. No, no. You're oh, in the middle. I'll ask you later. That in was that, right? Yes. In the middle of a street of games. There you go. <laughs> uh, a few more questions in this one. Here we go. And boop. there's a Z. Okay. Chris. Damn it. Uh, children's games, outdoor children's games. Yeah, you know, playground games. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well done. And la uh, two more. Penultimate one of this round. I, I, I can't count. Seventeen more. <laughs> Good. Zach. Are these all Greek women? That's not what I have here. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, oh, I thought I saw my name up there, but is someone's buzzer not. working? Uh, did you try again? I'll try again. I got it. Oh, involved. okay. Yeah. Curtis, are these known as princesses, like warrior princess, princess Peach? Ah, uh, yeah. Got a little bit more specific, please. I mean, I have nothing more specific than princesses. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyone else? Cribs. Fictional princesses? Fictional princesses. Okay. You like walked out or something? I don't know. I showed my name and then I didn't give it a little bit of a Here's the last one. Greek princesses? Because there are real princesses out there. Just mm. you know. uh, Josh. These are countries? More specific, please. Okay, fine. Asian countries. Thank you. Yeah. It's Asian countries. <laughs> Wonderful. That was very good. All right. I'm just going to go to the last round here because we're short on time. Oh, oh, oh. Flowers. Uh, flowers. It's flowers. <laughs> right, here's, the, here's, here's the final scoreboard so far. Cribs is 16. Josh is 13. Zach is 12. Curtis has 7. It all can be won and lost in the final game. Answer smash. All right. Okay, the players are given a category and a picture related to the category. So you'll have the picture and then the general knowledge question underneath it. You must smash the answers together. So for example, if you see the category superheroes, the picture is Captain America and the answer is carpool karaoke. The players would say Captain America carpool karaoke. So you gotta mm -hmm. smash the, okay. what the picture oh, is, yeah. what the, the question is, the question. smash it together. Castle, but. A correct <laughs> answer gives you a point, an incorrect answer, you lose a point. Ooh. So just remember the scoreboard here. Mm -hmm. oh. Very close to the top for those House of Games prizes. Here we go for the first category. It's flowers. So you'll see a picture of a flower, okay? Okay. What aquatic creature gives its name to a cheese cracker made from Pepperidge Farm? Cribs. Marigold fish. It is, marigold fish. Mm. Well done. Point to Cribs. Next. According to a motto used in sales, what person is always right? Josh. Uh, I'll try it. Uh, custom more kid. Now lock you on that one. Anybody else? Chris. Crow customer? Uh, that is incorrect. Oh, mm. That's a, that's a bad guy. Right Zach and Curtis? No. All right, so the answer was... His oh, best customer. Uh, his best customer. Uh, All right, uh, <laughs> next one. Now you tell me. Yeah. In what 1999 film do Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz face a supernatural curse in Egypt? Zach. Chrysanthemum Mummy? Yeah. Yeah, Chrysanthemum Mummy. Well done. That would be an amazing movie. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I would watch it. I totally would watch it. Brendan Fraser's back. Hey, do you have anything else? Let's see. Car brands. Car brands are next. Here we go. The Netherlands has three constituent nations in the Caribbean. St. Martin, Curaçao, and where? Curtis. Sue Burundi? 
<laughs> Say again? Subarundi. <laughs> uh, that is incorrect. You lose a point. Anybody else? Chris. Oh, I did not mean to hit my button. That's okay. You can take my point. I did not mean to hit my button at all. Point yeah, down. Sorry. That's okay. Josh or oh, Josh? Subaruba. It is yeah. Subaruba. Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome. Josh gets a point. Next one. Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, and uh, Michelle Williams were the main members of what girl group? Cribs. Mercedes Destiny's Child. That's correct. Yeah. Well done. Point to Cribs. Uh, anything else? Let's see. Oh, we have more. What cooling household appliance comes in central window and mini split varieties? Cribs. Hyundai air conditioner. <laughs> it is Hyundai air conditioner. <laughs> Such a stretch. I know. <laughs> what are we doing? Dating apps. For smush and a few oh, more. Yeah, dating apps. A few more. Oh, dating apps. What chemical can be used to lighten hair or disinfect surfaces? Zach. Bum bleach. <laughs> yeah, bum bleach. <laughs> it's, what it, it's what it says. Yeah, it's yeah. what it says. That's the polite. All right. One. Next one. What location in the store might one try on new clothes? Josh. Fine, the gay will take it. Grind dressing room. Yeah. Yeah. Grind yeah. dressing room, gay. Yeah. <laughs> this month, love wins, everybody. All right, and that, <laughs> that is the end of Bob Hanks' oh. the game. Oh, oh man, that was so much fun. Oh, yeah, that was wow. awesome. Thank you. But we're gonna check the scores out. Oh no. Let's see all that answering, wrong answering. Oh. What happened to the scores? Let's find out. Who has won today's House of Games? Oh, Cribs has 17, oh, Josh and Zach have 14, Curtis has 6. So Cribs, you're our winner. Congratulations. Good game, good game, good game, good game, good game, good game. Good game, good game, good game. Cribs, good game. you get two prizes of the uh, Bob Hague's House of Table prizes. Which ones would you like? I want, for Kat, I will take the notebook. And for me, I will take the wallet. And thank oh. you so much. That is awesome. You're welcome. Oh, baby, yeah. Um, so... Since Josh and Zach, you, uh, Josh gave me the last correct answer, so that's why you're in the second spot. So Josh, you get to pick a five. What would you like? Well, since we're tied, I don't want to take the prize that you want. Do you want one of them that's up there in particular? Donation received. Hey, oh, I think that's right. Now donation. Now go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna grab one. Um, you know what? I would really love this. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the stable wheel of fortune here. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Nice. And then Zach, which one? Do you, do you want the stadium seat or the cowbell? I don't ask me why, but I do want the cowbell. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Good choice. <laughs> and Curtis, you get the That's stadium. going over to the tech stage right there. That was. Yeah. Come on. Okay. That's House of Games. Thank hey. you for watching the 24 hour game show marathon this hour for House. Oh my God. It's up so close. Yeah. Hi. Whoa. Oh, we're back at the camp. Oh, hi. Uh, what's up next? I don't even know my own schedule. Say when. Say when. Say when. Say when is the name when. of the game that's coming up next. When. 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 Say when's coming up next in the 24-hour game drum. When is it on? We'll see you in a bit.